Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. On this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We cover niche perfume houses. We go over layering combos. We talk about dupes and clones of original fragrances, highlight indie perfume brands on the channel, all things fragrance. So um, this is Charlie right here, and he doesn't want to leave my side because he knows mama's injured, <laughs> and he just, he never hangs around in here. He knows that we're going to do uh, video reviews and he's just not wanting to leave my side today. <laughs> so I just thought I'd pick him up and have him do our intro for us. So if fragrances are something that you are interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos because you never know which fragrance house or perfume topic we're going to cover next. Oh, I think he's ready to go. <laughs> Bye, Pop. All right, so in today's video, well, this entire week we have been focusing on gourmands and vanilla fragrances. We have, and um, this is my second video of the day because I wasn't able to do a review yesterday. Um, so we are going over Sucre Noir Arte Profumi. Really, really interesting fragrance brand. It's a niche brand. We are going to review this $240 fragrance for a 100ml bottle right up against Vanille Outremer. Now this brand I, and this bottle itself, I have seen it absolutely everywhere. I have read reviews. I have just been all over the place with it. Finally, finally, thank you so much Shimmer Lux for just pushing me to just order it. Just order it and see what it, what it gives us. This bottle right here is $22, all right? So we're gonna find out in today's video what does it give us? What kind of vanilla is Vanille? by Outremer. Let's put it right up against Sucre Noir first. So for today's wear test, I did a side-by-side -side comparison. On my left side, I wore the Sucre Noir by Arte Profumi. If you were in the, uh, if you saw the video where I went ahead and did first impressions on the samples I got with my Escapade Gourmand bottle by Crystal Fragrances here, yeah, crystalfragrance.com. They went ahead and sent over these amazing niche samples with my full bottle, full bottle purchase and I could not be happier because it was some fragrances I had been eyeing. So this fragrance right here, when I sprayed it on the test strip, they were so gracious enough to include test strips, I couldn't smell it. I was like, where is it? I just smelled like a faint sugar and I was like, okay, that's going to have to be, you know, wear tested on the skin. So the notes in this fragrance are sugar cane, vanilla pod, and orchid. Now that reminded me a lot of the structure of Vanille West Indies. Now Vanille West Indies is caramel, vanilla, and orchid. Just has those three notes. Outremer by Vanille. I mean Vanille. Vanille. The head is still going uh, strong here. <laughs> Messed up my whole noggin. Um, this Eau de Toilette Vanille by Outremer is um, vanilla and cotton candy. That is all it claims to have in the notes. Now, there are lots of references to this fragrance. You'll see it pop up on different reviews that it smells like Vanille West Indies, that it smells like Indult Tejota, um, that it also smells like Vanigla uh, by Mazorali. Uh, all of those fragrances, this one pops up as well. So I was beyond interested to wear test it today. I wore this on my right side However, I have been wearing this to bed ever since I got it, and I will have to say that I am extremely pleased with it, by the way. <laughs> so we'll get to that in a second. Let's do the niche fragrance called Sucre Noir by Arte Profumi. Now, this one is one of those candied sweet vanillas that, um, give me a second. <laughs> people's that tends to dry down like um spun sugar cotton candy and or also sugar cookies that's what the, this vanilla tends to dry down too so yes it is in the same vein as the vanilla west indies uh definitely it it's in that realm for sure this is what it gives i do not 
oh there's a there's a faint faint whisper of a scent of this on my skin it is still on my clothes but I do have to put my nose up to it so let me spray it here to talk to you guys oh my gosh yes it smells it just takes my nose right to the Vanier West Indies oh for certain definitely but it 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 it's not as thick it is not as um loud I mean this fragrance right here is dense for sure oh my gosh um it but it smells so so similar um it gives whiffs of the sugar cookies throughout the entire day and that also that cotton candy for sure um there is not as much projection and sillage from the Arte Profumi that I get from the Vanier West Indies for example um or and or even though it doesn't smell exactly the same the escapade gourmand by mason mataha is in its uh, own other little lane and if you'll see that full detailed re review you'll you'll see and, and uh, understand why but these three arte profumi ultramar vanier and the vanier west indies are in the same realm as far as what they smell like and there's charlie <laughs> barking away oh my gosh yes this smells in the same room as the vanier west indies um the other fragrance that gives a slight air to this however it has apricot in it is the sweet vanilla by montal that one has a very powerful alcohol smell at the way beginning of the fragrance then it smells like this like like cake you know like almost like cake and it and it has a very beautiful scent bubble sillage the um the montel sweet vanilla and it smells similar but it also has that added apricot so it's it's also in its own little lane as well oh all these beautiful vanillas i've been having such a good time exploring them placing them in little categories like oh this smells like this this smells like that naturally i feel like i need all the vanillas in the collection i just do this one would definitely be a contender it gave me a very enjoyable scent bubble i was able to smell it on myself even though i wasn't leaving you know trails and it wasn't a very loud it was still here you know i could still very much enjoy it on the clothes it is still here so it, it definitely does have some longevity i mean it does cling to the skin pretty pretty close and I, I did apply this fragrance at 6 this morning and it went pretty strong for about 12 hours or so. And still a light coating on my skin right now. So it's past 12 hours and we're still, you know, well I just sprayed it. <laughs> but it was still faintly there on the skin. So it does hold on. But I will say that it's not as strong as the Vanier West Indies. There's no stopping this one right here. There's no stopping it. So for the price point of $240 per ml, it's pretty comparable to this one because this one comes in at about, the Vanier West Indies is about $140 or so by the time you get it over here um, for 50 mls. So uh, if, that, if you do that twice, $140, that's actually $280 if I were to get two bottles of this at once for to make the 100 ml. So it's actually more expensive than the Sucre Noir. If I won the lottery today i'm telling you guys i would purchase full bottles of all of the ones that are treating me well <laughs> and this would be one of them sucre nor would be one of those vanillas definitely um and just to collect because since i already do have the vanilla west indies i don't feel like i need the sucre nor i don't i will not be uh you know looking for a full bottle of this and if you only had it in your budget to choose one even though it's a little more pricey i would still go for the vanier west indies based on strength and sillage and longevity alone okay that's that's my verdict on that <laughs> now for the outramer vanier you guys oh, i was so oh i was so on pins and needles with this my goodness oh and um so anyways okay 
this fragrance in here has our vanilla and our cotton candy it's been around for ages i've seen it absolutely everywhere you can you know people's get a hold of this on mercari and i don't know if they just don't care for the sweetness of it or the smell of it um you know but they just they let them go they buy them and then they declutter them or maybe they, they bought backups or something i'm not sure this fragrance right here is dreamy it smells so much this is the eau de toilette version of vanille west indies it just is it smells exactly it gives me that sugar cookie smell it gives me that cotton candy smell it uh you know this is such a great great value for the money oh it's it smells of the same quality of vanilla as the pricey vanillas that we've been testing out this past couple of weeks i mean it just does i'm completely blown away by that now since this is an eau de toilette we do not have the strength on skin you know it does not stick around longer than about five hours or so on the skin but let me tell you does it ever cling to your clothes i just sprayed it on my arm but I still have it on my clothes. I've been wearing it to bed and I wake up with it. Oh, I haven't put my my jammies. Where are they? Oh, they're in the other room. I have not thrown it in the hamper yet, the one I wore last night. It is on there. I mean, you wake up smelling like sugar cookies. Beautiful, beautiful, cozy, comfy. This is gonna be great for layering. At $20, this is a no-brainer no brainer it gives me the same vibe so i see a lot of reviews and this is what held me back from purchasing this was you might as well buy um you know water and spritz yourself with water because this doesn't smell like anything um you know uh, this doesn't last but 30 minutes on your skin um so many negative reviews in that in that fashion and, and i just i don't know i didn't want to give it a chance um, but I'm so unbelievably glad that I did. I am really, truly blown away. <sighs> truly blown away. This can be so great for layering. This is a no-brainer when it comes to the value that you're getting from <laughs> this fragrance. And here's where I feel I'm going to give you guys a good little pointer here because I didn't trust it. So if you trust my nose, if you trust these reviews that we've been going through, um, you know, trust me, this is good. <laughs> Like, you know, you can't trust all the reviews that you read out there, and uh, but you, you just try it for yourself. Here's the thing, though. If you've already tried Vanille West Indies and Escapade Gourmand and, um, you know, any of these other amazing, amazing vanillas, and they're not doing it for you, you don't smell them, you don't feel like they project off of you, they don't cling to your skin or your clothes, then this will not either. I have come to realize that the people who say, I can't smell Vanilla West Indies, I can't smell Escapade Gourmand, um, you know, it's just not, I don't, it, they just can't pick it up. The molecules, it, it has to be with, um, you know, they're anosmic to it, I feel, because man can i ever smell this <laughs> and this and that oh it is just my favorite it's just my favorite amazing um so sugar cookies for hours you guys sugar cookies for hours let's get on to the mistake i underestimated it of course and there was a bottle on smallflower.com i'll put it up here the bottle the way that it looks it's different from this the bottle has like this um, vintage look to it. And there's two different uh, looks to these bottles. The, the art. It was a 100 ml bottle for $22. And I don't know why. If this bottle is only 50 ml. It's a 50 ml bottle. And it was $20. It should have been a no brainer to me. To go ahead and pick up the $22 bottle. The 100 ml for $22. Um, but at the same time, I was like, do I really want to get stuck with a hundred mls of something that's not going to work? So yeah, that's what I did. So don't do that. If you trust me, if you trust the reviews, you know, don't do that. <laughs> so let me tell you, yes, you do need to reapply this fragrance if you still want to enjoy it on your skin. 
um, it will go good for five hours, like I said. Um, and then, you know, the scent bubble um, from your, you know, skin, it starts to kind of dissipate. So I would over spray this fragrance. I mean, we're talking all the layers. Spray your skin before you apply your clothes. Uh, spray your undergarments if you're wearing any, uh, you know, like long sleeve. Spray your clothes. Spray a little bit. You know, I went in my hair even spray away because it's not going to be overwhelming to the people's uh, that are smelling you. I got that feedback already. <laughs> it is going to smell delicious to them and uh, you need that many sprays I guess um, because it's just it's an eau de toilette so it doesn't have as many perfume oils as your what is this 35% perfume oil at concentration and this one too really high oil to alcohol ratio here. Um, so the Sucre Noir as well has a pretty high ratio. However, it it performed, I would say, in between the Eau de Toilette and the Vanier West Indies. Okay, <laughs> I hope I'm making my point across here, uh, you know, clear. I did decant this for myself and I carried this in my pocket and I reapplied um, in when I took a bathroom break, like, about six hours into the wear, I just reapplied it to my wrist. That was all. Oh, and one spray in here so I could continue to enjoy the goodness. Delicious fragrance. I highly recommend Vanille Outremer. Highly recommend. I also feel like this is going to be one of those fragrances that gets better with age. I feel like, you know, the vanilla, the juice, I feel like the, the perfume itself is going to get darker because I have seen pictures of it pretty dark. Um, you know, every time you spray your fragrance, you get it uh, exposed to oxygen and all that. I feel like it's going to uh, macerate, you know, a little longer and just get nice and juicy here for us, you know. I really, really, really enjoyed this fragrance. It was amazing. Um, and like I'm saying, compared to the quality, if you do, I mean, the price point, if you do not have, excuse me, if you do not have the money to dish out for, you know, price per ml for these fragrances, your Vanier West Indies, um, your Escapade Gourmand, uh, you know, and all of those, this is such a good value. <laughs> A 100 ml bottle for $22 or if you want the classic uh, you know paper cover here you could go for the 50 ml for $20 still an amazing deal amazing deal on small flower I believe there's another site called anthropology as well and currently they are on sale for $16 a bottle and the travel is so cute they sell it in a 15 ml travel and then they also sell a uh, is it nine mls or is it nine dollars a little um concentrated i want to get that next i want to see what's up with that it's oil you can put it in your diffuser you can make an eau de toilette out of it if you have a mixing agent you can put it in your lotion and put it all over your body yes <laughs> yes bring it all on this is amazing okay i'm done rambling about bunny out trimmer i just felt like you guys really needed to know all the details for sure about this beautifulness okay guys thank you guys so much for tuning in to the reviews and um we're gonna keep it going here thank you also for suggesting what we talk about on the channel i'm really really enjoying that and i have some things on the way actually a couple i have uh, we can have two different types of weeks with the things that you guys have been suggesting and then i have one in the works but definitely two are already on their way to me for sure <laughs> yay so uh thank you well um i'll let you know it was the Byron, everybody's interested in the Mula Mulas, wanting to check out what the differences are. I did get a hold of them from Andromeda's Moon, so we'll see when we can get a hold of those. And then also we have the dupe for Crybaby on the way from Andromeda's Moon and from Mimic.com. So if y'all want to check that out before before it arrives to the channel, if you want to do your own research, by all means. Okay, gotta go. Thank you so much for tuning in for interacting on the channel and for being here. You're much, much appreciated. You have a blessed rest of your day, your night, your evening, and you stay safe. Bye-bye.